in the high definition. This is Western New York's News Leader. Now, News 4 at 10. That looks like a tornado almost. That woman who took that video did in fact see a tornado today. All new at 10, the National Weather Service confirms not one but two tornadoes touched down in Hamburg and Holland with maximum wind speeds of up to 105 miles per hour. Western New Yorkers are feeling the effects from those tornadoes tonight. Homes in Hamburg and at the fairgrounds were hit hard, causing severe damage. And in Orchard Park, people are also picking up the pieces of what's left behind from the tornadoes that tore a path of destruction. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, officials in the town of Holland are asking anyone living there to conserve water for the time being because power is out of the pumping station. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Chief Meteorologist Todd Santos is going to break down what kind of tornadoes these were, just how powerful they were in a minute. We also have a team of reporters assessing the damage. One of the hardest hit areas was the Hamburg Fairgrounds. That's where News 4's Marissa Perlman is, as you can see. She begins our team coverage where she spoke with the governor just a short time ago. Marissa? Yeah, good evening to you and Alina. Scary moments here at the Erie County Fairgrounds this afternoon, surveying all of the damage here. It was so bad that uh, park benches ended up on top of buildings. We're also seeing trees in the middle of the streets here, not to mention broken and shattered glass line the sidewalks here. As you mentioned, the governor was in town today surveying all of this damage as county cleanup kicks off. It's a mess. <laughs> A mess that includes a trash can through the window and a fence into Karen Rostad's living room. It kind of looks like it just came down to my yard and then decided to leave. I don't know. <laughs> She's just one of the many neighbors cleaning up in Hamburg, one of the hardest hit areas. This is kind of like starting a new house in a way. Tonight I go and sit down and have a glass of wine. <laughs> in the town of Hamburg, the tornado luckily hit mainly rural areas, touching down in four different spots. We're very lucky. This passed in a location which we know in three weeks will have thousands of individuals here for the Erie County Fair. More than 150 people at the Hamburg Casino were evacuated from the fairgrounds. I don't know, it sounded like a bomb going off. And all the lights went out, all the machines went down. Outside, almost 100 cars damaged by the sheer force of Mother Nature. So by air and on the ground, Crews teamed up with local leaders to survey the damage, as this tornado at one point left almost 20,000 people in the dark. We have called out from the state side other power companies in the region to send additional personnel and additional trucks and crews to come help with uh, the restoration of power. Incredibly, no one suffered serious injuries, but the funnel cloud downed hundreds of trees and power lines, leaving a big cleanup job ahead across the county. Uh, Mother Nature uh, likes to test us, I think. Uh, seven feet of snow was a test. Uh, flash flooding the other week was a test. Uh, the tornado is a high level test. Now, in regards to whether we will see any state funding, the governor does tell us that's something that will be determined in the next couple of days. Now, there needs to be a certain number in monetary damage to qualify for that state aid. And as we mentioned, he'll be doing that in the next couple of days. Now, he did mention uh, in regards to the Erie County Fairgrounds, he said it is possible to, that the fairgrounds rather would qualify for state aid as that fair is just 19 days away. Reporting live in Hamburg tonight, Marissa Perlman, News 4 at 10. Marissa, thank you. So, Todd, now that it's official, just how powerful were these tornadoes that hit Hamburg and Heil Holland? Is this unusual for this area? Uh, it's not unprecedented for this area. I mean, we were talking about uh, back in the 80s, the Chictawaga tornado, uh, and we've seen a few others from time to time. The uh, thing is, this year's been exceptional to start with. I mean, two months ago, we had uh, a tornado down in uh, northern uh, northwest Pennsylvania that we were tracking. So uh, today, what we've seen was two distinct clusters of storm reports, one of those up around Hamburg and the other one down towards Holland, with a few other reports, that one just outside of Springville, that's wind damage, the one just west of Arcade. So there were a couple of other areas 
that still have to get checked out as far as uh, what the damage was. But that red line is the actual path uh, that that first tornado took. The EF2 tornado, that's uh, rated at max sustained winds at 105 miles per hour. Now, that's estimated from the damage. Uh, so the, the damage itself is what tells the Weather Service uh, surveyors exactly what uh, strength this tornado was. So that's the path it took off to the south and east, path length of about five miles. The max width in that path was 700 yards. Looking at the other one uh, down into Holland, this red line uh, shows where that one worked its way through. And I put those red lines on the map using latitude and longitude supplied by the Weather Service. So at least gives a good approximation of the path that that storm took. Uh, max sustained winds on that, uh, 95 miles per hour, should I say peak winds, estimated peak winds, and the estimated path width uh, around 500 yards with that. But still a good length on that. It stayed on the ground for two and a half miles. So for those of you having to clean up for those, I certainly feel for you. The one big positive is that we're now in the clear. I mean, that little flash of green you see briefly there on the radar uh, in western New York uh, is just a false return. It is quiet across the area, a few wispy thin clouds. That's about it for now, and tomorrow we'll see plenty of sunshine. 71 in Buffalo, 74 in Dunkirk. We are in for another summer-like night. We'll find these temperatures dropping back through the 60s uh, for most areas, mainly mid and upper 60s. Those of you who saw some of the heaviest rain today, because uh, you still have a lot of that lower level moisture. We are looking for a beautiful Friday. For some of you, that will be spent cleaning up. And into the weekend, we're going to check in on some chances for some showers. We'll take a close look at that. Uh, but bottom line, Nalina, we did not see any injuries related to either of those tornadoes, and thankfully, no fatalities. That is great news, Todd. Thank you so much. We are keeping a close eye on any power outages still tonight because of the storm. Right now, there are less than five National Grid customers without power, and there are just over 4,000 NYSEG customers without power. We're going to get to Rachel Monjovi in just a second, but I want to bring you this story first. Now to the latest on this story you saw is breaking news at 530. A Buffalo woman and her family are counting their lucky stars tonight after finding something historians treasure, but people like you and me should be pretty afraid of. Judith Sobreski made an historic discovery she never wanted to get her hands on. You hear about stuff like this in Europe, but you know, you never think you're going to find something like that in your basement in the United States in Buffalo. She's lived at the North Buffalo home on Parkside Avenue for two years now, and right now demolition work is underway in her basement. I went downstairs in the basement uh, this afternoon to clear out some more debris because the basement got flooded and discovered a large artillery shell. At the time, she had no idea she had her hands on a potentially explosive World War I trophy someone most likely brought home. It was down on the floor in the corner, and I didn't know what it was, and I picked it up, and right away when I realized what it was, I was like, oh, I can't say on camera what I was thinking, and, <laughs> and uh, immediately put it down and dialed 911. The Erie County and military bomb squad from the Niagara Falls Air Reserve Station responded, evacuated nearby homes, and eventually safely removed the artillery shell and destroyed it. Just be very careful when you're demoing old North Buffalo rec rooms in your basement, and if you find something, don't touch it. Call the police. Senior Chief Petty Officer John Branning, the superintendent of the Buffalo Naval Park, tells me that Judith is very lucky that shell did not explode. He says it could have contained a hundred year old unstable explosive powder. Branning would have loved to keep that piece of history at the Naval Park, but understands why it was destroyed as a matter of safety. All right, I want to get back to Rachel Monjovi now in Hamburg. Rows of homes were seriously damaged by the tornado that touched down there. News Force Rachel Monjovi continues our team coverage now from Marie Drive, where neighbors are left speechless by what happened. Rachel? Yeah, Nalina, the damage here in Hamburg is absolutely incredible. I would love for you guys to see this house behind me. You'll get to see that in just a second when the video starts playing. But the damage is it insane if you see it there are three huge trees that have uprooted and have fallen on this man's home it's just devastating we are on marie drive which is right next to the fairgrounds and every home on this street is feeling the effects of the storm and of course the tornado we did get confirmation that a tornado did touch down in this area several homes here are dealing with power outages down trees some homes have had part of their roof blown off, cars are damaged, gas lines have been affected. So the storm and tornado really did some extensive, extensive damage. And I want to bring you back to the home that has been crushed by trees. A man named Raymond lives in the home by himself. He's lived there since 84. He was in his kitchen when he says he heard winds coming and three huge oak trees came down through his roof one after the other. Luckily, he wasn't injured, but it's unclear if he'll be able to save his home. 
This is the family home where my kids were raised. Now those trees are gone and it's gonna be quite an ordeal for the house to be rebuilt if it can be rebuilt. Raymond said if he was in any of the other rooms in the house, he would have been hurt. He says the entire roof needs to be ripped off. The ceilings and walls inside his house are severely damaged. Now, crews were out here the majority of the night trying to get the trees off of his home, but they are still on his home tonight. It's unclear when he will be able to salvage or, or get any of these trees off his home. Even the front door is completely covered in debris, so many people here in Hamburg are struggling to clean up the aftermath of this damage and some don't know how they're going to pay for some of this damage. For now, we're live in Hamburg tonight. Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 10. Rachel, thank you so much. Up next, former Buffalo Bill OJ Simpson has been granted parole. We'll tell you when he could be a free man.